Hey everyone, in this video I want to show you how you can create your own single product page with Elementor using Jet Wool Builder. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Once you're in your WP Admin dashboard, what you want to do is head over to the plugins, add new, and then upload your Jet Wool Builder plugin. If you haven't downloaded it or purchased your own license of the Jet Wool Builder plugin by Crocoblock, you will be down in the description below. So once you've uploaded your plugin, what you want to do is install it. So once you've installed it, go ahead and activate the plugin. Once you've installed it, it will redirect you to the plugins page. Now, sometimes you would need to update the data over in the Jet Wool Builder. So go ahead and press the start update. Once you did that, what you want to do is head over to Crocodile Block and then Jet Plugin Settings. What I want to go over with you is the general settings and the widgets inside the Jet Wool Builder. So we have enable thumbnail effect. It's basically when you hover the picture or the product image, it will swipe or switch when you hover it. So I usually toggle it on. As you might see here, we have a new option pops up. We have a thumbnail effect. We have slide left, we have slide right, slide top, slide bottom, we have fade or fade with zoom. So I usually do fade or fade with zoom. I usually don't like it when it slides, but it's my own preference for that. Now, the next thing we have is enable WooCommerce template styles. So basically make browser render all the widgets more consistently. Usually I don't touch that, but if you want to go ahead and do so. Now, the next thing we have is print custom template CSS inline. So we have a little explanation here. What it does is basically styles will be displayed in front of the template content. This will prevent jumps in styles during page load, but will affect the page of its loading. This option will affect all custom templates. Usually I don't touch that because I don't have the need to. Usually I find it, it works good even without it. But if you have a problem, you can usually go to these options, toggle that on and see whether it helps your situation. Moving on to the next one, we have widgets. Most of the widgets, I keep them on because you probably would need them. If I go over, you can see here, we have a lot of widgets comes right with it. And with the price that it's currently on $43, I think it's a no brainer. Why? Because we have global widgets, we have category grid, taxonomy tiles, product list, product grid, WooCommerce actions, we have single product widgets, which is a ton. Usually on Mero doesn't give you so much. These ones get you a lot. Now archive product widgets, it's basically to set up your archive. And if you want to see that, that's going to be our next video. And we have an archive category widgets, shop product widgets, art widgets, checkout widgets, thank you page widgets, and my account widgets. So meaning we have everything that you need to set up your WooCommerce store right bundled into one plugin, which is massive. They're not paying me for that. It's not sponsored by any means, but telling you it from years of an experience of building WordPress websites, the Crocodile Block plugins are a really no brainer because they work really, really well. Moving forward, as you might see here, everything is toggled on. So the next thing that you want to do is head over to Crocodile Block and then Woo Page Builder. Now to set up your own single product page, what you want to do is head over to single and then create new template. As you might see here, even though I went into single, the same thing will pop up if I'll go into all and then I'll hit create new template will be greeted with a pop up. Now this pop up will ask us what template do we want to create? We have this option of writing a single one archive item, category item, shop, cart, checkout, thank you and my account page. We have select layout preset. So the Jet Woo Builder already gives you some pre-made templates that they already have. So you won't need need to do anything from scratch. Let's see what happens if I switch the template option to something else. Let's say if we have a shop. Now a shop will look differently. Why? Because we can have a grid, we can have a list, we can have a different list and a list which is switched to the other side with some filters. I go over to the single one. Usually what I like to do is build it from scratch. So that's what we're going to do right now. Go ahead and name your template. I'll name mine single product page and then hit create template. It will redirect you to the Elementor page builder editing page, then you might be able to see here that we have some new plugins right over here, Jet Wood Builder. All those elements would be available for you as you would install this plugin and you would enable them. We have more options than usual if you would buy the Elementor Pro. Again, I don't have anything against Elementor Pro. I'm using Elementor Pro, but this plugin gives you even more options to play with. First of all, let's remove the single product page. Let's go ahead to settings and then hide title right over here. Let's go back to our widgets. Let's expand a little bit, but I just want to keep it right over here under the 1280. 
that's what I found. This is the golden spot for me because usually you want to make sure that your websites are responsive. Otherwise, it will affect your user experience once your users are on your website. The first thing that you will want to do is set up our product image and title. So click on this plus icon right over here and we have Flexbox and Grid. I'm going to go with Flexbox. Let's do two columns. One column would be our product image. So for that, what we're going to do is head over back to our product widgets and then we're going to drag and drop our single images drag and drop that. Great. Now we have our single image of our product. Now let's go back to our widgets and then grab our single product title, which is going to be this single title, drag and drop it right now. It's not displaying it, but don't worry. It will display it. Next thing what we want to do is to grab the product description. It will be this single content, just drag and drop it just beneath the product title. As you can see here, we have our description. The next thing that I want to add is the single price. It's going to be right. This one single price right over here with the dollar sign. So drag and drop it just beneath the product description. And then we'll want to add our add to cart widget, which is going to be this one single add to cart, drag and drop it just beneath the price, the add to card widget we can style it a bit more right over here under the style we have quantity variations prices stock statuses variation description variation reset as you can see here we can drag the width of the add to card again you can style it however you feel it would be suiting for you let's do for example 250 one cool thing that you can do here is display type here as you can see here it's right next to each other but if you want to stack it one on top of the other you can just click and make it block and then it would be one top of the other usually i keep it as in line and it's good. Now the next thing that I want to go over with you is a few more widgets that we can set up here. It's totally up to you where you want to put them. So we have single meta. So the meta is basically the tags, categories and the SKU. I hope I pronounce it correctly. So basically it's the serial number that's for a single product. If you have, let's say 500 or 1000 or even more products, it will be a little hard to keep up with all of them. So we can drag and drop it just beneath the price if that is where you wanted it to you can drag and drop it and style it however you want to the same thing here we have the link is these ones you can change the color as you might see here let's make them bluish somewhat or even purple yeah let's make them purple so it will suit this button you can head over and style it however you want to i will remove it just by right clicking it and then deleting it now the next thing i want to go over with you is this single rating so you can also show what's the rating of the product so let's say i want to drag and drop it just above the price so currently i have no reviews on this product you can edit the link you can also remove that so this applies to this exactly you can actually build a reviews page for products if you wish to and then just connect it to this field we have single caption you can change it to product review if you have one review and then the same thing here you can change that product reviews and then product review before the caption so it's going to be here and then later so let's say i remove that you can see here it will disappear here and then if i give it back so we have here it's back we have hide empty rating if you want to you can hide it so it won't show anything right now it won't show in the back end if we're editing the product but in the single product page when it, there will be no reviews it will hide that this is one of the things that you can do if you want to you can leave it if you don't you can remove it as i will do right now the next thing that you want to do is scroll a little to the bottom and then add a new section yes i'm gonna go with flexbox then add a new section with two columns and then i'll go back to my widgets and what i want to do here is i want to add those single tabs you can add here as you can see whatever the description here so i can remove the long description right from here i can delete it and then add the short description which would be this one single excerpt so just drag and drop it right over here. And that's the short description of this product. And then we have the full description right over here. And then we have additional information and we have the reviews. So now it will look like everything is one top of the other. But as we switch between them, we have only description, additional information, then reviews. And again, you can go over and just style it however you want to. For example, let's say this is on the top. Let's say it's going to be on the left. So this is going to be right over here on the right. If you're from right to left, I usually keep it on the top. I think it's better on preferences for that. You can see it in line or block as you can see here again i usually keep it in an inline and again you can center it stretch it or start or end i usually stretch it i think it's better next thing that you want to do is head over to the tabs and then you can style as the tabs also let's do the board radius let's say we're going to do from the top we're going to do 12 and then also from the 
right. So it's going to be kind of rounded, but at the bottom, it will be an edgy bottom. You can go install as the background color. Let's say they're going to be black and then the text is going to be white if you wish to. Now on hover, you can also style as the hover and active. Let's say the active color is going to be black and then the background color is going to be white. As you can see here, as I switch between them, you can see that the color switches between them. Jetwool Builder gives us the option to separate between all of those tabs and you want to make it separated things. As you can see here, we have the description right over here. Description widget is going to be single content and then we have additional information is going to be single meta and then the reviews is going to be this single reviews form. So let's say I don't want these tabs. And then we have the single content. It's going to be here. And then we have here the single reviews form. We can also add the single meta just above it if you want to. One more thing that I want to add here is the upsells or related products. So let's add a new one. I'm going to go with flags box, but now I'm going to go with one column. And right over here, I want to go back to my widgets. And in here, I usually go with upsells. Right now, I don't have any currently products related to this shirt, so it won't load anything, but I can add the title for it. So let's go ahead and add the title for it just above it and then add let's say you might also like let's center it and then stylize it let's do with black and then let's go add assistant and then let's do 30 no let's do 40 you can leave it as it is i usually put some padding between the columns let's put some padding here i usually go with m's right over here m's and then top two and then bottom three usually I go or that or even more. So I'm putting some space at the top and at the bottom. So now it looks even better. Currently, we don't see our title, but we'll see it in a few minutes. As you can see here, you have the option to rate for your users, obviously. We have the product description and we have the product meta. Might also like, as I said, I don't have them currently yet, so it won't show. I think for now, I'll leave it as it is. I'll hit update. And then the last thing that I want to show you is when you're finished with it in the preview here, let's refresh it. I did control shift R to refresh it and clear the cache of the browser. Right now, it's not showing it as I've seen here in the preview. Now, why is that? Because you have to go to our dashboard and over in our dashboard, what we have to do is go over to our WooCommerce options under WooCommerce and then settings. And under the settings, now we'll have a new tab, which is Jet Wood Builder. So go ahead and go over there. And over here, what you want to set up, first of all, is widgets render method. Now, don't keep it as macros. You want to switch it to elementary default. And then we have single product. And this is where you want to change it. You want to enable custom single product page and then choose the template that we just created. So single product template, and then we'll have the single product page as we created in the beginning of this tutorial. Now scroll to the bottom and then hit save changes. One more thing that I forgot to show you is that use Ajax add to cart. I would highly recommend you to enable this option because then it will load via Ajax and it will not need to refresh the page and then add your product to the cart. So go ahead again and save those changes. Right now, when we go back to our single product page template and we want to preview our changes, as you might see here, we have a little problem. Now, let me show you how you can solve this problem. So currently we have a template which is going over or bypassing our Jet Wood Builder template. So what do we have to do here is head over to our dashboard, head over to Elementor templates right over here, save templates. And over here, you want to click on all to see all your templates, single product page, which is here and single products under instances of products. So you want to add this with Elementor and then just disable it. So in order to do so, what you will need to do is head over to this little arrow and then save the options and then display conditions and then just remove it and then save and close. So now when we're back into our Jetwool Builder product template, when we're going to be reviewing our pages or previewing them, we have our template visible to us. As you can see here, we have our product short description. We have our price, we have our attributes. And as we choose them, let's say black, and then let's do medium, then add to cart. It will add the product to the cart. And we have this notice right over here. And if we scroll to the bottom, we have our full description of our product. We have the SKU, categories, tags, reviews, and so forth. And we have you might also like. So the next thing that you might want to do is to set up your shop page or archive page to showcase your products. In order to do that, I've created a very simple tutorial just for that, as you might be able to see just on top of this video. So go ahead and do that. And if you like this video, I'll be really glad to if you leave a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe so you won't miss any future videos that I post on Elementor, WooCommerce or WordPress. And and I'll be seeing you in the next one.